the legislatures for legislatures for quite some time have been focused in on K through 12 reform. Yeah. And just now, the focus is coming on higher education. Um, why is it that uh, for some time now there has not been the focus on those areas that are very important for an educated workforce in the higher education system? Why? Well, we had to start somewhere, and, and thank goodness Jeb Bush started with K-12. I was a school board member and a superintendent. I was a Jeb Bush acolyte out there in the hustings trying to make the reforms that he advanced work in the classroom and in the real world. And, and Jeb Bush changed Florida forever by making our, our K-12 system accountable and setting high standards. Well, we got to do the same thing in higher education. We have great colleges and universities in this state, but, but, they, but they're not as related to the needs of our economy as they, as they ought to be. And I'm not talking about making our, our universities or our students slaves to, to business. Instead, I'm worried about these kids who are going to walk across the graduation stage and think that because they got a college diploma, they're going to get a job, they're going to get a white picket fence house and two and a half kids, and it's all going to be great. The fact is that a huge percentage, well over 60% of the students who are graduating with undergraduate degrees from Florida colleges and universities are not getting jobs in the areas of their major or minor fields of study. A, an alarming percentage of them aren't even getting jobs that pay over minimum wage. And the reason is because we, we, haven't, we haven't challenged our higher education system to really align itself with the needs of the economy so that these students, our kids, our grandkids, can get jobs that really matter in the real economy and raise their families and stay in Florida. So we've got a lot of work to do. It's one of the things I want to do as Senate President. We're working cooperatively with our college and university presidents to come up with a way to, to create this, this tremendous engine of higher education uh, as a propel to the economy. I think it's going to be a priority of yours is what you're saying. Oh, yeah. <laughs>